Hello guys, welcome back to Octocoder. I hope you have had a fantastic time exploring the initial stages of our journey to build the Find My Restaurant application. In our previous session, we laid a solid foundation by setting up our server using Node.js, XPyJS, and connecting it to both MongoDB Compass and MongoDB Atlas. During this time, we also delved into the realm of our very first API endpoint specifically the add restaurant functionality through meticulous steps we created a well structured restaurant schema engineer a dedicated controller to seamlessly insert restaurant data using the restaurant.create method the real magic unfolded within a try catch block where we achieve seamless data insertion with a triumphant http status code of 200 should the unexpected arise, we handle it gracefully with a code of 500 and proficiently set up routing. The pinnacle was reached when we meticulously tested this API using Postman, effectively storing the data within the both MongoDB Atlas and MongoDB Compass. Our previous session concluded with these achievements, marking a solid step forward in our application's development. With this foundation firmly in place, we now stride boldly into the next phase of our coding journey. In this session, we'll delve into the remaining API endpoints meticulously detailed in our Find My Restaurant documentation. And we just started with first API which is Add Restaurant. We still have 8 more API endpoints remaining. Here's a sneak peek of what's ahead. List down all restaurants, then we have Find Categories. Then filter by categories, find particular restaurant, and so on. So in this session, we are going to learn these REST API endpoints one after another, step by step. So without a further ado, let's dive right into the coding arena. So in previous session, we inserted restaurant data. So now we're going to fetch data present in database. Okay. So before we write a fetch function, let's give comments here to understand code. Okay. So here, let's write comment add restaurant code starts here. And we always write comment above our function where code begins. But when beginner developer comes, then they don't understand code started here but where it ends so write another comment after function close so let's copy this comment and paste it after function close okay and here let's write add restaurant code ends here so it's easier way to understand where function started and where it ends okay lot of developer don't write this comment but it's my way to write comments like this so you can give comment as you want okay so now let's write function for fetch restaurant data so here again write start comment first fetch restaurant data code starts here and write end comment also just copy and paste this and instead of start write ends here okay and now we can write our function in between comments okay so let's create a asynchronous function which is exportable so exports dot get all restaurant you can name it anything if you want okay and this will require request and response parameter so we can write our logic here inside try and catch block try and catch so we can handle error inside try let's initialize an empty object named const restaurant query equal to curly basis this empty object is then used as the query parameter when calling find method we will write find method now so const restaurants equal to write await restaurant dot find method and query parameter okay this capital r restaurant is our model we define on first line of code don't get confused in names okay find method this is a method provided by database libraries like Mongoose to query a collection and retrieve documents that match certain criteria. It allows you to retrieve multiple documents. Okay, so we are awaiting to get all restaurants to be fine and 
we will also send restaurant back to the client so response dot status code 200 for ok success and send restaurants and we can write message restaurant page successful and if we have any error then log inside catch block here console dot log and some error occurred while fetching restaurant and error dot message this log is just for developer purpose okay and we'll send response dot status 500 dot send and message some error occurred while creating restaurant and save this code and now we need to define the route for get all restaurant right so let's open our restaurant route file from the routes folder and here we have defined post route for add restaurant so now we are getting data right so for get we can write app dot get method and then define api endpoint so inside inverted comma slash api slash restaurant then comma and middleware restaurant controller dot get all restaurant function and save this and we done so now let's test it out in our postman okay so let's start server node app dot js and successfully connected to database okay so let's open postman so here previously we created find my restaurant collections and post request for adding right so you can give name here for this api endpoint so click on this edit pane symbol and write add restaurant and if you see here in left sidebar in collection name got changed but it still showing get method and here we give an post method that's because we didn't save this request so click on this save button and if you notice here it become now post okay so now let's add another request click on these three dots and select add request and here let's give name first edit this and give name get all restaurant okay and this is a get method then enter our api url so localhost colon 8080 slash api slash restaurant and let's click on send button and there you go we get all restaurants details in here we just have two restaurants here so let's test if we add another restaurant from our post api then we'll get here all restaurants or not okay so let's just add one more restaurant just change name give taj location mumbai five star okay and send and we successfully added so let's fetch again click on send request and we have the last one taj restaurant that we just added right so perfect congratulations so we have done create and read restaurant so let's check our documentation what's next api endpoint so here we done add and list down all restaurant so next is find different categories of restaurant for example restaurant can be dining and few can be the only takeout which means we need to find how many categories we have if still didn't understand so let's check our api endpoint for expected output and here we have screenshot of api return the list of all the categories of restaurant present so basically we need to fetch all categories okay so let's write comment first so fetch restaurant all categories code starts here and fetch restaurant all categories code ends here okay now again all same thing we going to do like what we did for fetch restaurant okay so write exportable asynchronous function let's call it get all categories okay equal to async and request and response parameter in short req and res okay and try and catch block so we can write logic inside here okay so const categories equal to await restaurant dot 
distinct method. This is a mongoose method that's used to perform a distinct operation on a specific field in the collection. In this case, we are curing the category field in the restaurant collection to retrieve all unique category. Okay, so we are awaiting to get all restaurant categories. Okay, and if it is successful, then we will send back to client response dot status code 200 for success. Okay, and send categories. And if we have any error, then log inside catch block here console dot log and some error occurred while fetching restaurant category and error dot message and will send response dot status 500 dot send and message some error occurred while fetching restaurant category and that's it save it and let's do routing so in restaurant route file here let's just copy this and paste again app dot get api slash restaurant give slash and write categories and remove these and get all categories function okay save it and let's restart server again so open post one so we can test api so let's add another request and give name get all categories then enter url here just slash and categories our api what we written in route file okay and let's click on send button and we get response all categories presence in database so we have two categories dine in and take out okay so we always see successful response let's check if in our code something wrong then we will get status code 500 for error or not okay so let's change something in here if this distinct method we misspell so let's give distinct and save it and stop server and restart server by the way you can use node mod so you don't need to again and again stop and restart server okay but this is a beginner of our coding so we doing all manually hands on okay so let's click on send and we get response some error occurred while fetching restaurant category and here we also get response 500 status code internal server error okay and if you want to see what's the error then we have already logged our error message so let's check in console what error message we got and here as you can see we log the error message some error occurred while fetching restaurant category this is our string what we written in here okay and then we log error dot message and error message we got is restaurant dot distinct is not a function which is correct there is no function in mongoose like that and that's how to check errors where we made mistakes okay so everything is perfect let's correct our mistakes distinct to distinct this happens lot of time we misspell sometimes in our code and developers don't understand where is the error but now you learn how to check errors okay so let's restart server and send again and we got response 200 okay and we get all categories perfect So now let's check what's next API endpoint in our document. Fourth API is find restaurant by categories whether they are dine in or takeout. Basically, we need to fetch all restaurants whoever have dine in category. So we need to list down. Okay, let's see in the example. See when we send request for dine in. Okay, when you send request, you'll get all dine in restaurant list as you seen in this example we have this expected output okay so let's do code for this it's all same again and again just some minor changes we need to do so let's write comment again so this one fetch restaurants by category name code starts here okay and code ends here okay so let's create exportable asynchronous function so exports dot get restaurant by category equal to async and request response parameters okay so then 
कॉन्स्ट करली ब्रेसेस कैटेगरी नेम इक्वल टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉट परम्स दिस डिस्ट्रक्चरिंग टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द कैटेगरी नेम फ्रॉम द पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द इनकमिंग रिक्वेस्ट request dot params the request dot params object contains route parameters and in this case it's assumed that the route has a parameter name category name when we write after slash dining or takeout okay you'll understand when we run api okay then logic goes inside try and catch block and inside try block const restaurants equal to await restaurant dot find method for fetching right and category colon category name you can also add more validation like to upper case or to lower case in case someone type in upper or lower case right okay as you want we will keep it simple for now okay then response dot status 200 and send restaurant and if error occurs so in catch block will send 500 and error message okay and now let's give routing so in restaurant route file here just copy this api and paste path is same just after categories do slash and colon category name okay and middleware and get restaurant by category function and save it or restart the server and let's test it on postman so here let's add new request give name get restaurant by category and api url is same just copy this one from our categories okay and paste here then here give slash and write category name here so we have two categories dine in or take out so let's write dine in and click on send button and there you go 200 status code successfully fetch all dine in category restaurants here perfect so let's write here take out and send and there you go we fetch all restaurants by take out category all perfect as we look back at our journey thus far we have achieved significant milestones from creating and inserting restaurant data to fetching it our application backbone is steadily growing stronger i can hardly contain my enthusiasm for the next lecture where we'll delve even deeper into the world of restful api exploring how to update and delete data while seamlessly integrating them into our project remember knowledge is power and the more we learn together the more powerful our coding skills become if you found this video informative and inspiring i would be thrilled if you could show your appreciation by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the octocoder channel your support fuels our passion for teaching and sharing knowledge so until our next exciting session keep coding keep exploring and most importantly keep that coding spirit alive happy coding everyone